What is up everybody? Welcome to the Game Night YouTube channel. In today's video guys, I've got a playthrough of Gate coming your way and we're using the expansion Gates as well as the new content added in with the Gnome Pack. So guys, we're playing on the hardcore mode today. As you can see, I've got it all set up on the red side of the structure cards down here on the location card. So we're going to jump right into this dude. We're going to go ahead and set up our starting deck. We've got six uh, starter cards now because now we have the drunkard that got added to the game so we're going to go ahead and shuffle these up and we're going to draw two at random we've got the peddler and we've got the drunkard cool and then we get another one let's see what do we want to do here maybe maybe we'll do the storyteller Ooh, either the storyteller or the guard you know what i kind of want the guard because he's got an attack let's go ahead and grab the guard We'll set the other starter cards off this way. So this is going to be our starting deck. We'll set those over here. Let's go ahead and get the recruits set up. So I'll shuffle up the recruit deck. And we're going to lay out four recruits as our first initial four. See what we got here. We're going to do one right here. we got the gambler. Ooh, that's cool. We've got the minstrel. We've got the guardian. And last but not least, we got the swindler. That is incredible. Okay, awesome. Then we're going to take the eight. We now have eight of these hero cards because we have a brand new one, the Executioner. We're going to shuffle these up and we're going to get rid of three of them and we're going to keep five because you always have five every time. So one, two, three. We'll set those face down and we'll put the remaining five over this way like so. And then last but not least, we're going to do the same thing with all of the waves of enemies. So there's seven enemies now in each wave because there is a new one added to each of the three waves. So we're going to set three of them aside and we'll have four left over. We'll put the wave three enemies on top of Zogar. We'll do the same thing for wave two. Shuffle those up. There we go. And we'll get rid of three of those as well and put the remaining four on top of wave three. And then finally, we'll do the same thing for wave one. Get those nice and mixed up and we'll remove three. And we've got four left over that go on top of wave two to form our enemy deck right there. Okay, cool stuff, guys. I think we are ready to go. So first thing is first, enemies advance. So let's see who the first wave one enemy is. A Doom Skull. Hey, that's pretty cool. It's got three health. He does one damage to the gate. He causes no fear. And it says the Doom Skull deals one damage to the gate when first revealed. So right out of the gate. I think I said the same thing my last playthrough. I'm not meaning to make a pun. We've got one damage to the gate there. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to draw up. So we're going to draw our three starter cards. The Guard, the Drunkard, and the Peddler. So the Drunkard is a new card. It says that one it says plus one damage in combat as long as the Tavern is standing. So as long as the Tavern is standing, we get plus one in combat. And then we've got the Peddler. The Festival Command costs one gold this turn. And of course, the Festival Command over here um, calms. It calms one on the Pyramid. Um, okay, so I want to take down that Doom Skull. So we're going to deal one damage with the Peddler, plus one in combat as, as long as the Tavern is standing. So we're getting two damage. And then our Tower over here will give us plus one to a single attack once per turn if the Tower has four health. So it's got five health, so we're doing a, a plus one damage. So three damage total from the Drunkard. The Drunkard is going off on this uh, Doom Skull over here. Takes him down single-handedly. Cool stuff. And then we've also got the Peddler and the Guard left over. So we could buy some stuff. So we're going to use the two gold from the Peddler, one gold from the Guard, and plus one to a single purchase once per turn if the farm has four health. So that's four gold right there. We're going to buy the Swindler, who says you may draw one more card. That is really, really good. And then we're going to go ahead and flip over a new recruit. And we've got the Merchant right there. So there we go, guys. We'll go ahead and get this shuffled up since we ran out of cards over here. And now, enemies attack, but as you can see, all the enemies, the one that was there, the Doom Skull, has been defeated. So, we move to the top of a new round, and enemies advance. Who's the next enemy coming out? The Crawlbone, coming all the way from Tin Realm. You gain one fear as soon as the Crawlbone is revealed. Boom, and there we go. So, we're going to get a hero over here in our discard pile, since we landed on the little sun symbol. It's got three health, does one damage to the tower, and causes one fear. All right. Draw up. We're going to draw three cards. We got the guard, the drunkard, and the swindler. You may draw one more card. Boom. There we go. The swindler is so good, dude. Crazy to get him early on. All right. I want to take down that crawl bone. So I think we're going to do basically the same thing as last time. 
The drunkard is going to go ham, dude. He's doing one damage, plus one damage because the tavern is standing, and then plus one to a single attack once per turn from the tower. So three damage. The drunkard is going off, dude. He takes down the crawlbone single-handedly once again, and we're left over with a bunch of stuff here. So we've got two, three, four gold to spend, plus one from the farm would make five gold. And I think I want to spend that on the guardian. He can repair for two, he calms for two, and he does two attack damage. So we're going to go ahead and pick him up, put him in a discard pile. Enemies attack, but they're all dead. They are all dead. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle up our discard pile here to get ready for the next round. Boink, enemies advance. What we got? A spider. He's got three health, does one damage to the gate, causes one fear. We're going to draw three. We got the guardian, the baroness, and the guard. So our hero that we got is the baroness. She can uh, give us four gold, and it's a one-time use. I also have to refresh the recruits over here. There we go. Um, let's see here. It'd be cool if we had the gambler to use with the baroness, honestly. It's too bad. Um, who do we want to purchase? I do want to definitely purchase someone. Actually, I think I want to take care of the spider first. So I'm going to use the guardian here. He's going to do two damage plus one from the tower. And we're going to deal three damage to the spider and kill it. There we go. Guardian is really, really good. And then we've got four plus one gold over here from the farm and one from the guardian if we wanted to. That would be five gold. Or I'm sorry, that would be six gold total. Um, I guess we'll spend five of it and we're going to get... Hmm. Ooh, this is actually kind of tough. I think we're going to get the Tinkerer. Yeah, let's get the Tinkerer. That seems good. So he gives one gold. He repairs for three. That's what's so good about the Tinker, And he does one damage. But yeah, that repair is super, super good. Let's see who the new recruit is. The Warden. Ooh, that's a good one. He's got that two attack damage on him. That'd be good to pick that up. Okay, enemies attack, but they're all dead. New round. Enemies advance. What we got? Last one of wave one. It's a Scalipede with three health. And he does two damage to the tower. We're going to draw three cards. We got the Swindler, so we get to draw one more. So let's go ahead and shuffle up the discard pile. And we are going to draw one more card. And it is the Guardian. Cool. All right, we're going to do... Let's see here. We get plus one damage in combat as long as the tavern is, is standing when we have the Drunkard in our hand. So we're going to do... Let's do... Uh, yeah, I guess let's do it again, man. The Drunkard is going off, dudes. One damage, plus one from his ability, plus one from the tower is three, and that's enough to kill the Scalipede. I'll get the Drunkard over here in the discard pile. And now I think I want to buy some stuff. I definitely want to buy that Warden. So we're going to do two gold from the Peddler, plus one from the tavern, from the um, uh, the farm, rather, to a single purchase. And we're going to buy the Warden, since he costs three. Put him over here. And I kind of want to refresh... The recruits, but let's see who we get first. The coachman. You may take the caravan command for free. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm not too worried about that. I think I want to spend one with the swindler to do the caravan command, discard, and replace all the recruits. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Discard all these recruits and replace them. And I'll put them on the bottom of the deck here. And we'll replace those. We got the woodcutter, the blacksmith, the mercenary, and the vagabond. Okay, cool. And then we still have the guardian left over, but everything over here is at full health, right? Oh no, the gate has been hit. So we'll go ahead and use his repair to repair the gate, I think. Or do we want to use his calm? Let's use his calm and bring down the fear mid back to its starting point. Let's do that. That seems good. Cool, enemies attack, but once again, they are all dead, so enemies will advance. Our first wave two enemy is the Blood Monk. Remove all damage tokens when this card is revealed, but all the enemies are dead. We draw up, so we draw up three cards. Oh, the Baroness was a one-time use that's supposed to get discarded. So we draw two, and then let's shuffle up the discard pile here. And we'll draw one more. And we got the Swindler, so we may draw one card. Bloop, and we got the Peddler. Okay, um, let's see here. I do want to take down this Blood Monk. So I think we're going to do one, two, three damage, and then plus one from the tower is four. That's enough to take down the Blood Monk. There we go. And then we've got the Peddler left over. We could use the two gold from the Peddler, and let's buy the Mercenary since he does two damage. I'm liking these, uh, these high damage dealing citizens here. So let's go ahead and pick him up, 
and we're going to get a new recruit. And it is the commander. Ooh, that's cool. The call to arms command costs one gold this turn. That's really neat. And he also does two damage. We might want to pick him up. That's a good card. Okay, good stuff. Enemies are not alive to attack. So new round. Enemies advance. The next wave two enemy is the Dark Priest. He's got five health. He does two damage to the tower. And he causes one fear. We're going to draw our three cards. We got the Guardian, the Drunkard, and the Warden. Let's go ahead and wreck this Dark Priest. So the Drunkard does one damage, plus one damage in combat as long as we have our Tavern, and then plus one from the tower, so that's three damage. And then we're going to do two more as five damage to the Dark Priest to take him down. And we've got our Warden left over here. I guess we'll go ahead and use his one repair to repair our gate back up to full health. There we go. Once again, no more enemies. Enemies advance at the top of the round. The Rat Lord with six health. He does two damage to the gate and he causes zero fear. Man, having a lot of attack power on your uh, mercenaries and stuff, on your citizens, is really good. <laughs> You're just able to take down all the enemies. All right, here we go. One, two, three cards right there. Let's see what we've got here. The Tinkerer, the Warden, and the Guard. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see here. I guess we've, we're pretty much filled up on all of our health here. There's nothing else I really want at the moment from the recruitments other than the commander, but we can't afford it. So we're going to do two, three, four, plus one from the tower is five damage to the Rat Lord, and he has one health remaining. There we go. Put these over here in the discard pile, and enemies finally get to attack. The Rat Lord is going to do two damage to the gate, and enemies advance. The Rat Lord moves over, marches forward. And we've got our last wave two enemy in the form of the Rotworm. With five health, he does two damage to the farm, and he causes one fear. Let's go ahead and draw up. We're going to draw three cards. we got the Drunkard, the Guardian, and the Mercenary here. Um, it looks like we might actually be able to kill all of these guys. So we're going to do one damage with the Drunkard to the Rat Lord. That is going to defeat him. We're going to get plus one damage in combat. So we're going to do plus one, plus one from the tower is two, and then two more is four, and two more is six damage to the Rotworm to take him down. Cool. And that is it, guys. Enemies attack, they're all dead. Enemies advance at the top of the next round. First wave three enemy is the Blight Golem. With six health, he does two damage to the gate, and he causes two fear. We're going to go ahead and draw three cards. We've only got two. We've got the Peddler and the Swindler, which is going to let us draw a fourth card. So we'll shuffle all of these up and draw two more. We got the Tinkerer and the Guard. All right, I think we might even be able to kill this guy. Let's see. No, we can't. We cannot kill this guy. Um, okay, maybe we should purchase something then since we can't kill him. Let's see. The Commander would be good. So we're going to do two gold from the Peddler plus one from the Farm is three. And then we'll do another from the guard, so that's four. And then we'll do another gold from the swindler is five, and we'll purchase the commander. And then we're gonna use the tinkerer, and he can repair three. So we're gonna repair the gate and bring it back up to full. So there we go, it's at five. And now, enemies attack. The blight golem is gonna deal two damage to the gate, so it goes back down to three. He causes two fear. We move on to a hero sun symbol, so we get a hero card. And we move on to the wheat symbol, so it does one damage to the farm. That goes down to four, just like so. Now, enemies advance. He scoots over. Next enemy appears. It is a tent to steed. He's got five health. He does two damage to the mill and causes one fear. We're going to draw up to three. We've got the mercenary, the drunkard, and the warden here. Um. Okay. I guess we should probably try to take down this blight golem, to be honest with you. So we're going to deal... One damage with the Drunkard, and he gets plus one in combat. So that's going to be two. Then we're going to do plus one from the tower is three. Then two more with the Warden is five. And two more to top it off for seven to kill the Blight Golem here. There we go. Okay. And that's it. Enemies are going to attack. We're going to get two damage to our mill from the Tennis Steed. So it is down to one. That's no good. Okay. And it does say barricades cost one less if the mill has two health, so barricades do not cost one less, they cost three. Um, and then he causes one fear, and that moves on to the tower symbol, and it's going to deal one damage to our tower, knocking it down to four. 
Fortunately, we get plus one to a single attack once per turn if the tower has four health or more, obviously. So we're at four health, so we're still good there. Enemies advance. We're getting pretty close to the end here. The Tennisteed moves over. We've got the Grave Lord coming up. He's got seven health. He does one damage to each location, and he causes one fear. We're going to draw our one card. We go ahead and shuffle up the discard pile. We got a pretty sizable deck here. It's pretty cool. Purchased quite a few mercenaries. I just realized I never did flip one over here. This is a druid. So pairs two, calms two. Good stuff. Okay, and then we're gonna get two more cards here. Let's see what we got? Swindler, swindler, swindler. Yes, we got the swindler. We either draw another one. Let's go. We got the mercenary, the swindler, the guardian, and the tinker. Okay, we got a lot of damage output in our hand right here. Definitely want to kill that grave lord. Yeah, I want to kill the Grave Lord because he's going to deal one damage to everything. The mill is probably going to go down because of the Tennis Steed, but I'd rather get rid of the Grave Lord. So we're going to deal two, four, five, six, plus one from the tower is seven damage to take down the Grave Lord. Dude, that was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, cool. Enemies attack. We're going to take two damage to the mill. That sucks. The mill has been destroyed. There we go. One of our structures has been taken down. And then we're going to get one fear that goes on to the tower. Yikes. So the tower is now down to three health. So we're not getting the bonus from the tower anymore. We need to start uh, repairing. And then enemies advance. The Tentasteed is going to move through and deal one damage to the gate as it makes it through. And then a new enemy appears. The last wave three enemy, the Abomination with six health. It does two damage to the farm and causes one fear. We're going to go ahead and draw up. One, two... Three. There we go. We got the guard, the engineer, and the peddler. The engineer is a one-time use, and he repairs for four. That is pretty good. I'm tempted to do that on the tower, to be honest with you. So we can get our bonuses to... Ooh, you know what? You know what would actually be better? I think I'm going to use the peddler and spend the two gold and do the fortify command, and we get to repair for one. I'm going to repair one on the tower, bringing it back to four. There we go. Um, I'm going to use the engineer to repair four on the gate. So that's going to go back up to full health at 10. And that's a one-time use, so that is removed. And then we got the guard left. Um, I guess we could tack one damage onto the abomination. And now with the tower, we get the bonus damage. So we're going to do two damage to the abomination. There we go. And that's the end of that for us. So the enemies are going to attack. We're going to get two damage on the farm so it is down to two. We can no longer gain the plus one to a single purchase because it needs four or more health on it. Causes one fear. We're going to get another hero. Getting kind of high up on the fear mid here. And that is the end of that round. Enemies advance. The Abomination moves over. And Zogar appears with eight health. He does two damage to every structure and causes two fear. That dude is a beast. We're going to go ahead and draw up. We draw the Drunkard, the Commander, and the Warden. Okay, um... I guess we should probably try to take down... I guess we should probably just try to take down Zogar and just let the Abomination move through, potentially? We've got two, four, five, plus one from the tower is six, and then plus one from the combat bonus. That would bring us up to seven. Yeah, let's do seven damage to Zogar. Yeah. Oh, the A-bomb's not going to move through. That's right. He's just going to stay on the board, and we're going to have to attack him until he's dead. So I think this is the play here. Hold on, let's see. We're going to take two damage to the farm. Then Zogar is going to deal two damage to everything. The farm is going to be gone, so he's going to end up dealing four damage to the gate. We're going to take three fear and go one, two, three. I think we can pull it off. Ooh, can we pull it off? Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me rethink this. We're not going to put all that damage on him. Okay, I want to kill the Abomination. So I want to deal... He's got four health left. Okay, I want to deal two to him with the with the Warden. Yeah, we're going to deal two with the Warden. And then we get plus one damage in combat as long as the Tavern is standing. So that's going to deal three. And then plus one from the Tower would be four. So we'll deal the four to take down the Abomination. Okay. And then we're going to deal... I think the remaining three will do to Zogar. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. That sounds good to me. Okay. And that is it. Enemies attack. So Zogar's going to deal two damage to every location. Boom. He takes down the farm. Farm has been destroyed. He does two damage to the gate. 
Eight was at full health just now. That's pretty cool. He does two damage to the tavern. He does two to the tower. And there we go. So we're not getting the, the bonuses from the tavern or the tower anymore. Uh, but I think we might be okay here, guys. And then he's going to deal two fear. So it's moving on to the farm, but the farm is destroyed. So we take one to the gate. And then it moves on to a gate symbol. So we take another one to the gate. Yikes. Okay, guys. And then enemies advance, but there's no advancement left because it's only Zogar left. So now we're going to draw up. So we're going to shuffle up our deck here. This might be the last time. Fingers crossed we're able to draw into five damage here. If we draw the Swindler, that would be really good. Go ahead and, oops, go ahead and get this mixed up. Dropping everything all over the place. Go ahead and get this nice and mixed up here. All right, we're going to get three cards. And let's see what we've got. we got the Guard, the Peddler, and the Knight. That is insanely good. One-time use, the Knight does four damage, dude. Four. Five. Right there, we had just enough. We'll do five damage to Zogar and take him down, dude. Let's go. Ooh, that was close, man. At the end of that round, he would have done two fear and put us all the way up to the top of the pyramid. Ooh, and we had no calm either. I guess we could have used the Peddler to use the uh, the Festival command. We would have just hung on, but that was getting really, really close. So there it is, guys. Let's go ahead and count up our points here. So we got 11, 19, 28, 37, 41, 46, 52, 56, 58, 59, 61, 64 points right there, guys. There it is, dudes. Hey, we did it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up like button. If you haven't already, consider subbing to the channel, dude. Hit that red subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you can stay updated every time I upload a brand new video. A brand new video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm having a blast playing Gates again, dude. This is amazing. Um, this is crazy. I feel like I'm doing really well. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky or what, but yeah, I feel like we're doing really well. Uh, when I played this game in the past, I felt like it was a lot harder. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. And hey, until the next one, have a good one. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.